Welcome back to Magic Bullet. Today, I'm excited to show you how to set up a simple Bluetooth communication system between two ESP32 devices. In this project, one ESP32 will act as a master and the other as a slave. This setup allows the master to send JSON formatted commands to the slave to control various GPIO pins, enabling us to remotely control hardware components connected to the slave ESP32. Let's get started. First, let's talk about the hardware setup. You'll need two circuits, one for the master and one for the slave. For the master circuit, we'll use one ESP32 board, two push buttons, two 10 kilo ohm resistors, two 0.1 microfarad capacitors, a breadboard, and some jumper wires. Take a look at the circuit diagram on your screen. We've connected two push buttons to the ESP32, using resistors as pull-down arrangements and capacitors to reduce circuit noise. The push buttons are connected to, to GPIO pins 22 and 23 of the ESP32. Now for the slave circuit, one ESP32 board, two 220 ohm resistors, two LEDs, a breadboard, and jumper wires. The LEDs are connected to GPIO pins 22 and 23 of the ESP32 through 220 ohm resistors. With our hardware ready, let's move on to the software setup. We'll start by programming the master ESP32. Open Visual Studio Code and click on the Platform I.O. icon to create a new project. Name the project ESP32BT Master, select the board Do It ESP32 Dev Kit V1, set the framework to Arduino, and then click Finish. Once the project is created, open the platformio.ini file and set the monitor speed. Don't forget to save your changes. Since we're going to send data in JSON format, we'll need to add the Arduino JSON library. Head over to the Libraries tab in Platform.io, search for Arduino JSON, and add it to your project. Next, navigate to the SRC folder, open the main.cpp file. Delete any sample code. The source code is available on my GitHub. The GitHub link is in the description below. Let's copy the master source code and paste it here. Let's briefly walk through the code. We start by including necessary libraries like Arduino JSON.h and Bluetooth Serial.h for JSON formatting and Bluetooth communication. Then create a Bluetooth Serial object to handle Bluetooth communication. Define a struct to encapsulate button-related variables like GPIO pin number and its state. Initialize an array of button structs with initial values for multiple buttons. I connected push buttons to GPIO 22 and 23, so I'm making the changes accordingly. In the setup function, we initialize serial communication for debugging, set the built-in LED pin as an output, and start Bluetooth communication in master mode. The program then attempts to connect to the slave ESP32 device. Once connected, the built-in LED will turn on to indicate a successful connection. The loop function reads incoming data from the slave device and checks for button state changes to send JSON commands accordingly. The loop through button function checks if the button state has changed from its last recorded state. If the button state has changed to high, it indicates a button press. Then toggle the on-off state of the button and create a JSON document to send the button state. Finally, serialize the JSON document into a string and send the JSON string to the slave device via Bluetooth. That's all about the master project. Now connect the master setup to your computer via USB. Click the check button on the bottom to build the project. If everything goes well, click the right arrow to upload the code. Now the source code is successfully uploaded. Let's open the serial monitor. ESP32 Master Bluetooth Serial started, discoverable as ESP32 Master. Moving on to the Slave ESP32 program, 
create another platform IO project and name it ESP32 BT Slave. Again, select the board and set the framework to Arduino, then click Finish. We need to adjust the platformio.ini file here as well and add the Arduino JSON library just like we did for the master project. Open the main.cpp file in the sarc folder. The source code is available on my GitHub. The GitHub link is in the description below. Let's copy the slave source code, delete any sample code, and paste it here. Here's a quick overview of the slave code. We include arduino.h, arduino.json.h, and Bluetooth serial.h. The setup function initializes serial communication, sets the built-in LED pin as output, and starts Bluetooth communication with the device named ESP32 score slave. It waits until it connects to the master ESP32. Once connected, the built-in LED will turn on to indicate a successful connection. The loop function checks for incoming data from the master device via Bluetooth, deserializes JSON data, extracts pin numbers and statuses, and writes the received status to the specified pin. Finally, send a confirmation back to the master device. Build the project and upload the code to the slave ESP32. Make sure the master terminal is closed before you do this. Now connect the slave setup to your computer via USB. Click the check button on the bottom to build the project. If everything goes well, click the right arrow to upload the code. Now the source code is successfully uploaded. Let's open the serial monitor. As you can see, it's waiting for the master to be connected. Now it is connected to the master via Bluetooth. Now, let's press the button on the master controller. As you can see, the slave received a command from the master. Once both devices are connected via Bluetooth, press the push buttons on the master device. You should see the LEDs on the slave device turn on and off according to the commands received from the master. And there you have it, a simple yet powerful ESP32 master slave project using Bluetooth communication. If you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Stay tuned for more exciting projects, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.